Hello everyone, uh, it's not trading here. So today is Monday, April 15th. I'll be going over my recap for today. So um, I made uh, uh, a recording for my trade this morning. Um, just the first two trade on FCSC. Um, so I'll play that right now. So I'll explain my thought process um, as I um, play this footage, but it's sped up um, until I make some actions, it will be slowed down. So here uh, at 9.40, um, FCSC is starting to create a flag here. So you can see I uh, drew this flag line. It kind of broke out of it. Um, but um, as you see, I had this um, resistance around the 3.20 area. So I didn't want to buy this uh, breakout since I uh, thought it was going to fail. Because you can see that during this high volume day, um, it broke... Uh, had a high of 328 and it sold all the way back down to 250s. Um, so let's play it again. So it hit a high of 325 uh, today. And then you can see it was holding this, uh, this trend line here. Um, and then you can see it started creating this uh, cup and handle. So that, that's what I was looking for. Um, you can see this little uh, wick here was the little handle. So I entered short there. Uh, I got fill at 307, 300 shares. So I, I located I located 500 shares for this. So I started small, uh, 307, uh, 300 shares, and I placed my stop at 315. So that is uh, pretty much like a $21 loss um, if I t uh, took stop out from this uh, cup high, so or the handle high. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm gonna be adding more 200 shares for this $3 break. So on the level two here, you can see there's a lot of prints at three. So you can see I'll hit the three bids where, uh, the three bids there. So here uh, I'm gonna, so it tested, it tested three uh, initially, uh, it held. And then when it went to, uh, when approach it again, that's where I change my, so you can see I have 200 shares loaded there. Um, and then, so just a moment here. So I have a button here. That's pretty much my stop out button. Uh, uh, pretty much takes me out for my whole position. And then, so here you can see I'm getting ready to hit the $3 bids. And there, you can see all those $3 prints bid, and then I sold half. So I have a 50% uh, 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 on the bid to cover. So I covered half there for a $33 winner. Um, and then I kind of, I took a little more here, just, just so I can feel more comfortable. Uh, you can see I, take, I took another half uh, right here. So I took another half there. So I'm down to 125 shares. Um, just so I can feel more comfortable holding it um, through any push. So it popped back up, try to test the $3 there. Um, I, I, I drew this trend line uh, and it was it was holding it pretty well. And there you go. I was holding it. So my stop, my next stop would have been um, above this three dollars. So okay, so I kind of okay. So I drew this bottom trend line. I I, I took the rest off there, and that was a seventy-three dollar for that first trade. Um, and then and then I saw another opportunity here. So I started short here again at three three hundred at uh, two seventy-nine. Uh, and then because it was holding this trend line, or it, it wasn't holding yet, but I started short there with my risk off of VWAP. So uh, 291, uh, pretty much a 10 cent risk. Um, uh, so that would be like a $30 loss if I were to take that loss there. Um, and then here I go play again. So I started in small, 300 shares again. Um, and then you'll see me add for this 370 break here. Um, you can see this 370. 
So I have my order ready, um, 269, and then I hit it. So I'm at 500 shares, uh, 275 average. Um, it broke 269 and it went to 268, and it, it didn't uh, follow through right away. <coughs> and the reason I like this was also this cup and handle, um, and then it continued down. So I end up covering um, half there and the, my other quarter there. And I just have a quarter left. Um, and then you can see there's a lot of uh, consolidated uh, resistance uh, around this area during pre-market. So I went ahead and just covered the rest there. Because um, I didn't like the, um, the pre-market uh, support that's uh, going on over here. Uh, and then uh, from these trades, I didn't. Uh, I stopped my recording, but I can explain my other trade. So I was up one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and then I made another seventy around this area uh, during the afternoon. So what I saw was uh, you can see this trend line here, um, and then it, creating higher highs and higher lows, and it's pretty much a bear flag, right? So it's a bear flag. Uh, then it broke down here. You can see there's a tiny volume there during that breakdown. Um, so when I saw that weakness, I went ahead and uh, bought that the retest of this level. So it was like the 270 level. So I I, sh I shorted there, um, and then I went I went to add more, but uh, I misclick I misclick and sold a a quarter there. So I add and then I sold it right away for a quarter. Uh, and then I went to re add that quarter back. Um, and then covered covered when it was breaking lows and then when it was breaking uh, pretty much low near near the low days here I covered it there um, and then I I held my I guess I held my last quarter until until I think it was trending so it broke down here to 245 and then I was expecting to kind of retest this and fall back um, but I just took the rest off there and that was a total of $191 for uh, this. So three trades, uh, three out of three uh, shorts. Uh, my next one was JMEA. So JMEA, uh, it had this, uh, it was it was going from a 25 to all the way to 32. And then what I saw here um, was a five minute retest. So you can see it was kind of overextended. It was holding this five minute trend. Um, but during this time here, it I wanted to see it uh, break, so you can see it's kind of breaking um, this prior high, um, acting as support. So I went ahead and saw a short there, um, very small size since this is really uh, high spread. So very small size there. I think I had like twenty five shares, and then I added like twenty five shares there. Um, then I covered um, half there. And then another quarter at this and then i was expecting it to roll over but you can see it's holding the five minute trend so i wanted to just cover the rest when it popped back up that wick there um and call it a day um, but yeah it kept trending um so i always look at the larger time frame and where it reversed was this here when it broke this five minute you now you can see this cup and handle um, this is cup and handle and then now it's trending back down um, And then your target could be you know, this first target is 35 here So after this break your first target is probably 35 from the 15 minute 90 MA, but I wasn't watching this So that's that's all I have for today. Um, so four trades um, pretty much $215 uh, made most of it on the FCSC short um, so as always, um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.